Hello, my name is Sanskar and today in this tutorial, I will show you how to run machine learning models, specifically TF Lite models in a Flutter app. So let's get started. So first of all, I would like to show you the demo of the app, which we will be building today. So this is the app. In this app, you can see we have a floating action button. When we press it, it will ask us to select an image. Okay, so we can select the image. So let me select this one. And it will tell if it is a cat or a dog. One thing which is very important to understand is this model will work offline. So this model does not require any internet connection. So let's discuss how we are going to build this. First of all, we will use Teachable Machine. It's a web platform by Google where we can create these projects. It can be of image projects. It can be audio project. It can be post project. How Google makes it very easy is you just have to name what it is. For example, for our app, it will be dog and cat. Now, what we have to do, we just have to give this machine data that these images are of dog these images are of cat we will train the model we will export it and then we will run it on our app okay so now first of all we need data for this right and one thing which is very important to understand is it will not work for just four or five images or so right so for that you can visit this website um, I will most probably um, link it in the description you can check it out I may link directly my github and I will add all the important links in the readme file. So you just have to visit this website, click on download and download that file. Let me show you how it will look like. So this is, uh, this will be what you will download and that will be a zip file around 228.5 MB of size. In that you will have two folders. One is the test folder and second one is the training folder. Test basically consists of a bit amount, uh, less amount of images compared to the training set. So training consists around uh, 4,000 images and test consists a bit lesser than that. For our, uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use the test images so that we can, we don't have a very large time. I okay, so it's around 5,000. Uh, okay, 1,000 for this, right? You can just see from this. So we are going to select all these images go to teach, teachable machine so this one is cat click on upload choose image or drag and drop so we are going to prefer drag and drop oops <laughs> wait it's a mistake okay let me do that this way mm -hmm. we're going to select all the images Now it's time for dog. Click upload, drag and drop. Okay, so give it a second. It will upload all the images. In the meantime, let us create a new Flutter project. So type flutter create i will call it ml with flutter okay so our images are uploaded so we can click on train model One thing which is important to understand is when it is training, make sure you do, you do not close this tab. Meanwhile, our project has been created. So is this the one? I hope so. Okay. So the first step is what you have to do is remove all the boilerplate code. Then we will go to Android, fill.cradle, 
not this one actually this one the app the first thing which you need to understand is you have to make sure the minimum SDK version is 19 second AAPT options over here we have to say no compress TF light no compress light and that's it for this now we have included it in our android but now we have to add the packages required so from the app itself you can understand we have first the image picker to pick the image secondly we will be using tf light package so let's go to pubspec.yaml over there we will first of all write tf light okay in that will be for tf light then for image picker we will write image picker for the latest version we can just simply type it on google open pubs.dev and copy this okay this is done now what is the next step the next step over here is click on pubs dot uh, uh, packages dot get sorry okay so it will get all the packages which we have mentioned over here now one thing which we can see is our model has been trained so let's check if it's working fine or not this is cat this is actually not a uh, image which was in the test I downloaded from Google seems like our model is working perfectly fine let's te test it for dog perfect so it's working perfectly fine but now what we want is we want to run this model in our app so you have to click on tensorflow light okay for mobile works on mobile choose floating point click on download my model first of all it will convert it and then it will so meanwhile when our file is creating let's create a place for it so we will create an asset folder we will in the pubs pack self we will just create a place for it packages.get okay so it's still converting the model so all the packages has been gotten we have also applied it in the app this one we have make sure the minimum SDK version is 19 now the next step is to work on the flutter side of the part so first of all we will import material then we will say void main okay this doesn't happen before but let's check it out okay give it some time I it does take some time so okay. meanwhile we are going to say run app material app okay inside material app yeah so first thing which we are going to do is debug checker mode banner I don't like it I'm gonna just remove it if you want you can uh, just don't write this line the there will be a banner over there okay uh, the next thing which you need to do is uh, for this I'm going to use a dark theme and why not if you can just add it with two words then we will have a home now we will need a stateful widget which will be a home page let's say now one thing which is very important when we are creating screens it is recommended to create another folder directory for that to manage them but for our fo uh, app it will be just one screen page um, just one page app you can say so I'll just be adding it over here itself okay so we will call home page in the home page now let's start so let me open the app so what we can see is we have an image we have an output okay as well as 
if I click on it, if I select something, now it's very instantly happening, so you're not able to notice it, but there is a loading as well, correct? So, first of all, we, as we said, we will have a loading. We will have an image. Now, this is important, file. Because there is an option for dart.html, file it's done. So this is the TF light model. You can just name it. I'm naming it two because I have multiple. So just extract it. Okay, so these are the files. Cop uh, copy, you can copy or you can move. Um, I'm just gonna move it because I like to move it, move it. No, sorry. Just uh, do that and it will be done. And after the file, we are going to do image. And what was the next thing? Output. Uh, so uh, for output, we are going to just have it like list. So output, output. And yeah, that's done so now as uh, i said when we are initially creating the app when we are opening the app for the first time we want to load the model right because the model is working offline so we will load it in the in state app itself so let me create the function for it load load model now inside the load model what we will do tf light we haven't imported it yet tf light dot um, load okay just just a second let me check it's fine So there's some um, problem which we are facing. It's basically TF light. I'm trying it down. Look at it. It should work actually. Just a second. Let me confirm what's the error which I'm doing. Okay, I'm writing perfectly fine. Let's let's just write it. So it will be load. model I believe we haven't imported that that's why it's uh, the issues happening but other than that we can oh, okay there is one thing for us seeing because this is uh, a future actually if I now try where is it is asking me so TF light is not something it's able to detect so I'm just gonna import it TF light Mm -hmm. tensor flow tensor flow okay i'm having trouble with this just a second let me check what's the problem this is the package name so i don't want to copy because it's not the right way to do it package okay and then you can write um TF light slash TF light dot dot that's what there is right this is get going getting becoming a bit problematic so I'm just gonna remove that and I'm gonna run this <laughs> while it have nothing so it will show nothing but just run it so that it gets built and we have no problem in that just give it a second meanwhile we can work on our project
Yeah. So right now our app has nothing in it. So that's why it's just blank. Okay. So the load model is, uh, I believe TF light is not perfectly. Did I spell it right or not? Just uh, let me confirm this. This is important. TF light. Okay. Any should work actually. Let me do packages dot get again. TF light. TF light. Okay. I don't know why it's not, but let me. Okay, say uh, this is in a bit. TF light. Um, let's let's do this. Await TF light. No, uh, we don't care for that load model. And it was having a path. So okay, so that the root model. So for model um let me check if everything is fine. Sometimes this is not right. So AAPT options, no compress, fine, fine, everything is fine, but it doesn't like that way. <laughs> okay. Um. So we have to over here. It's a lot of it. So over here we will be like mentioning this. So this is the model we have model underscore un q a n t t f light. There is some error, but don't worry, we will it's labels. Yeah. So for lab labels it's assets slash labels dot txt. And when it once it's done Make sure I have just making sure I have major things done actually. TF light, it's not gonna work like that. TF light, it's much easier when it's that. It just looks not good. Okay, so once we do that, okay, once that is done, so. No more entire waste in this. All time dot then. Then what I would like to do is I have a value. This is this. What about if I return it? It's not working. So initially when we enter we should set it to is loading equals to true. But once that is done, actually, I was thinking after that is done, we want to do this. So, because it have the sync uh, asynchronous function, we should be able to use something like then. I think then was there. Yeah, then. I don't know why. Algorithm decided not to work. Then value. We'll see. Now we'll see what the problem is. Set state. State. 
and in the set state we will enter is loading equals to false okay um, that is the first method only now we need a init function as well which will be very easy it's just a variable well we should use file as well we just it's not a problem okay then we want image picker picker again so i believe this is image picker import image picker are we offline no Just, just a second let me check what's the problem we can terminate the app and we can open the recent one AML with flutter okay so if I now try to still doesn't work because okay finally it did <laughs> so that's really exciting image source.gallery we will be selecting image from gallery uh, guys I believe this might be okay finally 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 <laughs> image is equals to okay so we need to check if it's not uh, it's not equals to null okay and if it is equals to null we will just uh, return null okay we will return null okay so this is for uh, choosing an image once we have selected the image we want to set is loading so we can say set state now this is important that's why I was actually creating them inside but they were not working I got them outside we need to set a state and set a state will say is loading is supposed to true because now we have to load it okay as well as we would like that image equals to image get it okay now this is the function for choose image this will be working when this floating action button will be clicked now one thing you may be noticing that it's saying it's a future so we will basically say sync await and done okay <coughs> sorry it's saying okay what about if we use file small I believe bar is enough now it's saying that it expected semicolon future cannot be assigned okay just make sure this image file is dot dot io okay variable just let me confirm this sorry we are awaiting the wrong thing we have to await the results this one because image picker is going to pick an image the user is going to select an image he can take as much as time he want after that done then we want these things okay so that's why we will require an await over here so this was the function for selecting an image okay choosing an image now this one was then so now what's the problem with you man <laughs> why are you not working so this is in its state um, this is basically to set it to We will see that now this is choose image now we want we have a load image now we want to you know check image or you can say perform um, you know working um, on image with the model we can call it 
kind of I'm really like out of ideas literally what happens tf light dot run model on so let's let me call this run model on whoa, whoa, whoa. run model on image okay so tf light dot run model on image now we need to give the path so we are going to say image sorry what happened is Guys, I believe there is one or the other error with image. Where is it? Image? Yeah, there is the image. Okay, that's fine. And we will be uh, saying run model on image. We need to uh, send it through this. Okay, now this is working. Other things which will be required over here would be number of results that going to be two then there would uh, there's one more thing which uh, there is actually two three more things which is image me which we, we are going to be like and there is one more like and there is threshold which is going to be 0 0.5 okay so this is run model on so this is the function which will basically to run the model on the image once the model is done running we can just set the state to you know is loading first to false so it will be false as well as what we want is uh, the image is equals to image seems fine right unnecessary statement make me feel problem okay function expression can't be named we will we will get back to that now let's work on this we will have a scaffold inside the scaffold we will have app bar In app bar we will have title title we will have test test we will have the width no ML with flutter before body we, uh, we can work on floating action button floating action button will have a child and that child we will basically let's use icon like icon start image fine so that was the child now we want an on pressed function so in the on pressed function we basically are going to call pick image what okay i choose image <laughs> that's what we have named now one thing which we have to work on now is the body so well before working on the body let's um, first understand how it will work so body will be one thing if it is loading we want to show a loading if it's not we will show these images and all so for that we will check is loading okay conditional operator then if it is loading which is the two of us thing we will have a container inside container we will have a child which will be a uh, circular uh, i think that's how it's in circular loading circular progress indicator and we want to align it to alignment to center perfect so this is is loading now what if it is not loading well then we are going to use another container in this container what do we have we have an image we have a text and it seems like we have a space between them so let's see how we can work that out so first of all we will need a child in the container we will have a column why column because column is something which in which we can structure things in vertical manner if we want to structure in the horizontal manner we will use correct row so now we use children's in this the first thing which we need is image but of course we understand 
that if we don't have an image okay if the person has not selected image initially it will be nothing so how we will do that we will select image equal to equal to none okay then in that case what do we want to do we want you to show nothing so let's say this container with nothing but if there is an image then you should so show it so i'm gonna say image it's image provided actually so i'm gonna not i'm not going to use this i'm gonna say image dot file and i'm gonna say image i'm gonna end this with semicolon clear so this is if we have an image we are going to show it second we will have a sized box in which we are going to give um, height okay no okay <laughs> that's that's not what we wanted height we will be giving it let's say something of material if we call it <laughs> what is happening i don't know these structures are really okay so we have now size now we want the text before text we have to understand we will show the output only if we have it so we will check if it is equals to null if it is equals to null then we will have a text but there is nothing inside it but if it's not equals to null then we will have an output in output we will have zero and then we can have labels i think this is not the right way actually we should use it like this that should work now okay so let's see how much we have done now when we are clicking on floating action button we are clicking on choose image button in the choose image button we are using the image picker to select an image from gallery and then we will assign it to image we will check if image is not equals to null okay that's wrong if, it, if it's equals to null then we will return null if it's not continue click uh, set state we will set is um, is loading to true because now we want to check image is equals to image run model on image okay then we will run this function uh, which is basically tf light dot run model using the ba package we are going to pass the path number image mean image threshold set state and then we have this last one which was initially loaded load model okay so if we talk about this this seems to be completed as well so now let's give it a try i believe this is an error so let's look at it in dot analysis so there is some things which need to be worked on so it, it is saying that function expression can't be named it's a function expression so it cannot be named load and l model okay so i'm just gonna kind of that way then then you know sometimes this is actually you know this uh, has need to be working like this actually if we have double UE and if I will just say like that correct 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 now it's saying is loading okay so set state is saying fine but is loading is it is not uh, undefined name it is saying so let's see is loading okay it was a typo any issue now I think everything is fine so yeah let's let's see how it goes fingers crossed <laughs> so let's see okay so here's the app one thing which we can see right of the bat is uh, load model is not loading perfectly okay so after it is done loading 
we are setting the state so it's not okay it's saying set state is not different i don't know set state now we can actually anyways <laughs> we can do that from here as well okay so this was the problem now if we click on this you'll have the images which means you switch dog cat dog cat dog okay we didn't get any output what is the problem okay so when we are running the model we are it's not to assign the image because we have already assigned that right over here we have to assign output to the output no sorry <laughs> that's not correct um yeah we should be storing this in an output now what's the problem okay it's a future so if it's a future we need to have a sync and a wait now let's run it again some basic like things cross action dot center just to make you know things main axis alignment center yeah it, uh, by these we can be basically make sure that the image and text are in the center okay so now it's returning null so let's see what's the problem we are storing it perfect threshold is fine we are giving the image which is fine we are sending the image over here, right? Run model on image, which is path, image dot path. Output, okay. But it's not in the center. We'll look around it, but this one is important first. Okay, so let me check if I have named this correctly. Okay. So I think the name and uh, labeling may be problem, maybe label it is. Let me see if I click on that. It was labels of oh, just just a second. Let me check one thing. Okay. Then correct the state for it. Click on that. Perfect. Finally we have <laughs> completed this so yeah here we have it we have an app in which our tensorflow light model is working and uh, in a flutter app hope you like the video and uh, yeah make sure if you have any recommendation um, for future uh, videos comment them if you have any doubts do comment them um, i know um, in some places there was a bit things uh, so yeah um, also let me also know if you are interested in more future uh, like of machine learning and flutter and yeah i'll see you in the next video peace